Okay guys, today we are going to make one of my very favorite recipes. This was like the first recipe I made that was like one of my really good recipes. I probably first made it almost 20 years ago. So I'm 40, I would say about my 20, 20, 21. It is a no-bake chocolate eclair cake. It is super, super easy and everyone will, I guarantee okay, they will love it. The ingredients are super, super simple for this recipe. First of all, you need one box. I always use the honey-made graham crackers. These are just the plain honey. Do not get the cinnamon, do not get the chocolate. And let me tell you, you need exactly one full box. You can't even snack on these. So don't even plan on just eating a cracker while you're making this because you are you will run short, unless you're gonna buy two. But if you wanna, you know, stick into a tight budget and you just wanna pick up one, do not snack on the graham crackers for sure. You need three cups of milk. We do need one container of like Cool Whip or whipped topping. This is a generic version of Cool Whip, so it really doesn't matter what you get as far as that. We do need some Hershey's cocoa. A little bit of sugar that you can see in the background there some where's my butter there's my butter we need some butter and vanilla extract and we also need two boxes of the jello French vanilla pudding now if your store doesn't carry the French vanilla you can always use the vanilla pudding my first go-to is however the French okay, so vanilla first you want to work with a 9 by 13 pan this is a disposable one I always get these whenever the Dollar Tree has them or if your local store has them they're perfect for recipes like this they come with the top so it's really easy for storage then what I did was I opened up my box of honey made grams and you'll see that there's three packages in each so each layer is one package so you're going to use one package for the first one for the second one for the third layer so that is why there's nine sheets of graham crackers you cannot even snack on one of these because it okay, will so be first short. step is to take your package and to go ahead and layer the full bottom pan with the graham crackers and do your best to fill in the gaps with the extra pieces, break them apart. You can see how exactly one packet fills the first layer and it'll do the rest. So there is no time for snacking okay, with these. What you wanna do is take your two boxes of French vanilla pudding, stick them in a mixing bowl, and also add three cups of milk into there and blend it. Now my hand mixer, you can see I have one because I'm mixing the other one. So just make sure it's blended really well. Um, I will include the directions to this ingredient in the description box below. So if you want to grab it after the video, go ahead and do that. is blended add in the full eight ounce container of either your Cool Whip whipped topping um, into it do not blend it just mix it in well
and voila that is our eclair filling for our cake it is so good the next step good. is to take half of the pie filling uh, vanilla pudding mix that we just mixed and layer it on top of the graham cracker and our first layer is completely done. So what we're gonna do is take another package of the graham crackers and layer it on top of the pudding mixture. do is take the rest of your mixture and pile it on top of this layer of graham crackers. final layer of breadcrumbs and layer on top of that. Okay, and lastly, we're going to make our chocolate topping, our frosting topping for the top of our cake. So what you want to start with is a third of a cup of the Hershey's cocoa mix. Okay, next add a quarter of a cup of milk. Okay, and add in one full cup of sugar to the mixture. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna heat this on low and stir it for about a minute. Stir it really well. It's going to be kind of thick, but it will moisten and liquefy as you keep stirring it. Okay, once that's mixed through, let it cool down for about a minute, a couple seconds. What we're going to do is add in one stick of butter and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I do use the pure vanilla extract in my recipe. And as you're adding these in guys, you do not have to have it on heat. You're just adding it in after the fact that it's been heated. take your chocolate topping and just go ahead and pour it on top of your cake. It'll kind of find its way. Get it all out of there. It's all set. All you have to do is cover 
and keep it refrigerated overnight and definitely keep it refrigerated for the full overnight time and then we'll see okay, how it guys, looks in it's the morning. morning time and the cake is done i'm going to go ahead and cut up a slice and show you what okay, it looks like here it is guys it is so so good definitely try this simple easy no bake chocolate eclair cake everybody is definitely going to love it and if you've tried it before or if you try it, comment below, let me know how it was, and definitely check back for more easy, simple recipes. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.